Hello, um, I am recording this on Tuesday night and I, I originally I planned to upload uh, Stata lectures but uh, as you know uh, I, the Stata distribution was slower than I expected which is not a problem it's not a problem but just I wanted to uh, show how to get this result um, but yeah, we are going to do that later. Don't worry about that. There is no hurry. Uh, so let, let me just skip this uh, slide and uh, continue what we are supposed to do after Stata. So, so in the previous lecture, what we learned is that we are going to, we have data and we would like to draw a trend line, straight line that go through the middle of those uh, points, uh, the scatter plot. And this straight line is the regression line. We uh, especially, we are interested in the slope. And in this case, here the horizontal axis has the student teacher ratio and vertical axis has the test scores. So as you can see, as the student teacher ratio increases, the average test score tends to decrease. There is a tendency. However, still there are a lot of uh, uh, deviations, discrepancies from the observations to the regression line. But anyhow, we are uh, thinking about just the average. So potent, uh, conceptually, we are looking at the average uh, for each uh, average test score for each level of student teacher ratio. And using the data, we obtain some results, which is based on the least squares method, uh, which I explained earlier. And so I wanted to show you how to load data and how to uh, regress, how to run a regression estimation. But let's take, it, take that aside. And we are going to think about the next step. So after you estimate, and get the uh, results, what you need to do there is you need to evaluate uh, on you, uh, your performance, how good uh, your model is. So where, how much your regression model explains and how much uh, errors you have and um, how to uh, compare your model to another model. So there are two important, so we call those kind of measures as the measures of fit. So how well the model fits the data. So it's a measure of it measuring the thinness, uh, uh, how, how well the, the fitting is. So there are two important measures. One is the regression R squared. We just call this R squared a very famous measure, R squared measures the fraction of the variance of Y, the variance of test score that is explained by student teacher ratio. So how much student teacher ratio explains the test score? So important. Of course, the higher the R squared is, the more, uh, the more powerful your model is. Your variable explains uh, the, the target variable better. And uh, it, this measure is nice be because it always uh, lies between zero and one. So one means perfect explanation, zero means nothing, not doing anything. And, uh, and another important uh, measure is the standard error. So as you, as you know, standard error is the uh, the standard deviation of an estimator. So the standard error of the regression uh, is the it measures the magnitude, the size of a typical uh, regression residual. If you remember what was the residual, re re the residual is the prediction error. If you view the regression as a kind of prediction, prediction of y using uh, x, then uh, the residual is residual is the uh, prediction error. So uh, the standard error of the regression measures uh, how good you are doing. So I am going to explain those two measures in more detail. 
uh, by the way, as I said, uh, as I have been, uh, I'm not focusing much on uh, on the mathematical details. Mathematical details are important, but I think it's less important. So I I may skip a lot of uh, like notation and the proofs and mathematical details, but still I will try my best to deliver the intuition, what the mathematical uh, notation implies and what you want, what what we would like to do with the mathematical uh, equations. So uh, keep that in mind. And we are going to, we need to review a few important concepts. First, it's just a, a reminder, uh, we have defined this in the last lecture. So first, uh, we defined the population regression line, population regression equation, which is written in this way. The test score equals to beta 0 plus beta 1 x plus uh, error term noise. Uh, so the, the importance of this population equation is that this is the truth. This is the true equation, true parameters you would like to estimate. So uh, that's the role of the population equation. Of course, in practice, no one knows what is the true value? If we knew that, then we don't need to estimate it. But uh, just theoretically and conceptually, we assume that there exists a true value. Of course, there should be. And then uh, we are going to study the behavior of our estimator with respect to the true value. We are going to see that later. On the other hand, so the population regression equation is the true underlying relationship between X and Y. But we only observe uh, the realizations of X and Y. And from the data, you can estimate beta 0 and beta 1, say uh, the OLS estimator. And then you are going to get uh, the estimators, OLS estimators for beta 0, which is denoted as beta 0 hat and also uh, estimated slope beta 1 hat and then based on those estimators you can predict the test score based on the student teacher ratio so exactly it's nothing special uh, beta 0 and beta 1 are unknown so you replace them with their estimated uh, counterparts and u is an error term, pure error term, and you cannot predict error. Errors are unpredictable, so ignore that or just assume that the error is zero. So then the test score is expectedly y hat, y hat. So this is your prediction. You predict y, you predict the test score to be this value. And then your prediction will be wrong uh, by comparing your prediction to the actual realization. So realization minus your prediction is the prediction error. And we, we call that uh, the residual. So the residual is u hat. You may think it as a kind of estimated error. So, so what you miss if your estimators are uh, accurate enough, then the difference between y and y hat, the actual realization and uh, your prediction uh, arises only because of the error term. So in that sense, the residual is a kind of uh, the estimated error term. Anyhow, you may just, I think I prefer interpreting this as the prediction error. This may or, or, uh, arise from different reasons. Uh, and anyhow, what's important here is if you rearrange the definition of the residual, then you are going to get this. So what you observe, the actual realization of realization of test score can be decomposed into the predicted part. So you predicted this much, but you failed to predict this much. So Y had uh, and U had uh, represent a predicted 
or explained part and unexplained, unpredicted part. So you are decomposing uh, uh, the outcome. So we and um, so we are going to use those uh, concepts, simple uh, definitions, intuitive concepts, to measure how big the the prediction error is. We are going to discuss that in the next video.